Hello, uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one who isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not, and without any further ado, we are going to get into tonight's messages, okay? So we have the overall energy here of um, somebody is trying to play God in your life here, okay? Somebody's trying to control you, um you know, uh, I mean, somebody, I mean, it could be so bad that somebody is basically trying to set you up, trying to, um, determine, you know, the, you know, these type of people, very evil, wicked people in the world, um, who thinks that they have the right to determine who lives, who dies and all this other shit. Okay. Somebody is definitely trying to play God in your life though. Okay. That's what's going on here, guys. Okay. So, uh. Let's get some energy and say, you know, what else is going on here? Yeah. You feel like you're all a, uh, you're all alone in the world here, okay? You could be alone, okay? You could be single. Um you may not have family, you may not have friends here, okay? Um you're all alone in this world here, okay? And people um you know, are trying to take your, you know, taking your kindness for weakness. People are trying to get over on you in some type of way here. We have color, colorless angel here at the bottom of the deck. So you're definitely someone who is an angel here. You're an earth angel that um, has been sent here to heal and to help. I feel like you're someone who is highly intuitive. You're naturally empathic. You could have psychic abilities, okay? You could be spiritual, in one way or another here okay but um you know i feel like there is a group of individuals okay i don't feel like this is any one person there could be a group of individuals here okay who have made it their business um um to you know want to decide whether you live or die okay who want to play god in your life control things in your life okay um if you have love if you are married if you succeed if you progress if you have you know money if you you know just various different things that you know people don't have the right to be determining um in your damn life it's your life you understand what i'm saying and, um, yeah, somebody is definitely trying to control you, okay? They're trying to play God in your life here, okay? Spirit, what other messages? Okay. You can be in touch with your inner child here, okay? Um, you can almost look childlike, okay? I feel like um, you're someone who is clearly an adult. You're, you know, you're of age or whatever, but um, you may look youthful, Okay, um, you may look younger than what you are here. Individuals, but you're in touch with your inner child. I feel like you're mature. Um, and you're not childish or childlike or anything like that, but you're definitely in touch with your inner child. This could stem from um, uh, childhood trauma. This could stem from the fact that you didn't have a happy childhood at all or, you know, a very good childhood or um, at all or whatever, but... Um, you're definitely in touch with your inner child here, okay? Um, so it's, it's, it's something about this, uh, an innocence, a purity here, okay? Um, this You're this angelic being, okay? You're this angelic being here. Others around you want to victimize you, okay? Trying to play God in multiple ways in your life here, okay? you uh, We have healing here at the bottom of the deck, okay? So you have had to heal from and recover from a lot of things that you have endured in your life, okay? You could be someone who has been abandoned, um, who has been isolated, who has been targeted, who has been uh, used, abused um, in multiple different ways here, okay? But there are people, okay, around you 
okay? Whether this is people that you have been in relationships with, people in your family, um, fake phony friends, um, people in power, in government, okay? They're trying to play God in your life and you are feeling all alone, okay? I feel like you don't have, a, you know, a support system. You don't have a shoulder to, to lean on, to cry on. I feel like it has always been this way for you. You've had your own back. You see how she's kind of looking back, okay? She, she has to watch her own back. She's alone in the world, okay? But she has to watch her own back here, okay? Because people are out to harm her. People are out to get her. People, you know... Um, mistreats her you have been you're someone who has been used abused okay and then you're just abandoned you're left you're neglected okay so here, please give me a clear message okay for the end of for um the overall message trying to play god in your life who's trying to play god in collective life here. Who's trying to play God in collective life? Okay, so we have here, um, we have here the spaceship. Spirit says, don't be afraid to sing, okay? I feel like this is just basically telling you, don't be afraid to live your life. Don't be afraid to be yourself, okay? Continue loving you. Hold your head up high, okay? Do the things that make you happy, that fulfills you, okay? No matter what other people are doing, no matter how other people are trying to con uh, control you, okay? I feel like you're, you're a star. I want uh, Spirit wants you to continue to shine bright, to continue to believe in yourself. Don't give up, okay? Because that's what the enemy wants you to do okay I feel like you're someone who's very lovely like this you know this garden here like this this flower that she's holding here okay spirit is telling you that something lovely will grow from this of what you're dealing with what this situation um, that you are enduring here okay with people who are trying to control you people who want to manipulate you use you abuse you okay enslave you in a way you you're feeling all along you're by yourself and everything other people are trying to play god in your life um and trying to control you in some type of way okay but spirit wants you to continue loving yourself continue um doing what you need to do to fulfill you to make yourself happy okay for you to move forward spirit what other messages for this person who's trying to play god in someone's life yeah, these people are trying to kill you with the coffin card here, okay? Somebody knows that you're alone in the world, you're isolated, you're, you've been neglected, you've been abandoned, okay? You don't have a mother, you don't have a father, you don't have family in your life at all. If you do have family, you don't have family, if you know what I mean. Like, these people are not in your life here, okay? Um, you, you could be someone who is single. You don't have, you're not married. You're not committed. You're not in a relationship here, okay? These people know you are an angel, okay? Somebody knows who you are, um, uh, who you were in a past life, who you are in this life. Somebody knows that you re incarnated you came here i mean you have a specific divine purpose okay and i feel like individuals in power don't like it okay they want to try to play god in your life by causing your death here somebody is trying to uh kill you here okay we even have imprisonment here these individuals have had you stuck restricted unable to move all your life here okay these people have even tried to set you up to be um um uh, institutionalized or in prison jailed or imprisoned in some type of way as well these people have stopped at nothing okay to uh hurt you to harm you here okay yeah spirit is saying that these are official persons these are people in authority people in power people very wealthy very prominent um in power who are trying to kill you okay these people um stand before the people and and claim that they um 
are for the people. They claim that they're uprighteous and they're upstanding. They claim that they took oaths to, to serve and protect um, the people, that they took oaths to uphold the United States Constitution, but they break rules, regulations, and bylaws every single day. They commit crimes on a daily basis, okay? They do not follow um, uh, the law, uh, any law in order. They, they claim that they're pro-law in order. They claim that they're anti-terrorism, but they terrorize their own citizens, okay? Individuals who commit ge uh, genocide on a daily basis, okay? Individuals who set people up to be blood sacrificed, to be murdered in cold blood, okay, for the purposes, of, for their own ill will, for the purposes of money or whatever else here, okay? These are official people in, in power here, okay? People with very prominent positions, titles, and roles. People who are very wealthy. The very individuals high up in power who run, rule, and control the world, okay? This could literally be someone in government, be someone in law enforcement, someone in military, someone um, um, amongst the alleged elite, someone who's a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, someone of the 13 bloodline, someone high up in power, high ranking, that's trying to set you up in multiple different ways. These people um have some type of vendetta against you because you are an earth angel okay um they know that you are alone in the world they know that you have been um you you're probably a target these people are targeting you as well here okay <clears throat> so they're too coward to admit that they're using illegal technologies to um stalk you harass you experiment on you um social engineering social uh, psychological operations um directed energy weapons neurologistic programming remote neural monitoring to invade and violate you they have stripped your human rights your constitutional rights your civil rights unjustly from you they um illegally unwarrantedly um unjustly unorganized orthodoxly have surveillance you okay they invade your privacy they invade your personal space okay they have sabotaged and ruined your life in more ways than one here okay and it's all it has all been in the ever these are official people in power who are doing this okay and while you are a target, they may say, oh, your family is doing this. Oh, the, your, your lover is doing this. Your exes are doing this. Your neighbors are doing this. You know, everybody around you is involved in this, okay? Because they're afraid of two things. They're afraid, well, three things. They're afraid to die. They're afraid of white people in power. And they're afraid of being without money. And those three things alone, um, 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 th they can be bribed at any point in time to work against any damn body for their own, their own, their own ill wills as well. Okay, so these these official people, they do nothing but infiltrate everybody that you've ever known or come into contact with or anybody that you may come into contact with to go along with what they say. Why? Because they're the big bangsters, because they're the ones that's tip top at the top of the fucking pyramid. They're part of the 13 bloodlines, their royal status or some shit. Okay, they're high ranking. They're in power. They got all the money. They got all the wealth. They're the big bangsters. Okay, they run, rule and control Wall Street and all this other bullshit. Okay, so they feel like they can play God in your life these people this is premeditated murder here okay you know these people want to play god in your life they want to play judge jury and executioner without you even being charged with a crime you even having the right to uh 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 um uh uh to defend yourself in a court of law Okay, nothing like that, okay? These people, they're just so big and bad. They want to take it amongst, you know, take it amongst themselves uh, to kill who they want, to imprison whom they want because they the, the head niggas in charge, because they the big bad wolves, because they got all the money, because they got all the power, because they do what they want to do, okay? And I feel this is all because of your occupation, whatever it is that you do for work, okay? You could be a spiritualist. You could be outspoken. You could be open-minded here. It's because... Um, you could, um, you could be a truther. Okay. You speak truth. You speak clarity here. Okay. Um, because, uh, there's some type of talent, skill, or ability that you have here that you do for work that you have displayed in work. Okay. They, they feel some type of way about your occupation in some type of way here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They've even done things to purposely keep you in poverty in some type of way. To prevent you from succeeding, progressing all your life. They've tried to make it seem like you were nobody important. Okay. Um, you know, because they're bigger and badder and better than you. You're nobody. Okay. 
You're you're a peasant to them. You you're a servant to them. You're a slave to them. You know they don't have their balls ain't big enough. You know they're too coward to come out and actually say that shit. But that's exactly how they feel, and they know that's the God's honest truth. They know it is. Otherwise, they wouldn't be killing people. That's premeditated murder. Okay. They wouldn't be railroading people, setting people up to be institutionalized and imprisoned here. See, yeah, they want your spiritual gifts. They're mad because you have some type of talent, skill, ability, some type of gift that you have here, okay? Yeah, once again, occupation at the bottom of the deck here, okay? And you use this gift for the work that you do here, okay? You are all alone in this world, but you have some type of gift here. Okay, something that you do for work, something that you do for occupation here. Okay. And these people don't like it, you know, in this world, in this day and time, you know, all the bullshit that they told you is a fucking lie. We're free. Okay. We have the pursuit to happiness and shit. Okay. Um, you know, all the bullshit rights that they claim that we have in here and in, in, in different things or whatever. Um. It's all bullshit. It's all lies. We don't have any privacy. We don't have any rights. We don't have any freedom. There's no justice and no liberty for all. We're not free men and women. There's no pursuit to happiness at all. And they're too coward to come and stand before the people and tell you that they lied and they made up that shit. Just so you could go along with everything they said. To, to create some type of illusion for you. To make you think that this world was so wonderful. That this country was so great. Okay? But any time that they get ready to, they they killing us off by the dozens on a daily basis. They're imprisoning our people. They've been, in, they've been killing off and imprisoning people for hundreds of years. This has been going on. This ain't nothing new. They ain't like this just started here or anything. Okay? Yeah, these people are intimidated by you because whatever gift you have, whatever you do for an occupation here, it can bring you great fortune here. Okay, they know that you are talented and you skilled in some type of way, but because you're not a sellout, because you're not a puppet, because you're not a willing slave, because you don't go along with the status quo, with the agendas and the propaganda, okay? Because they can't manipulate you and they can't control you and you're not some brainwashed, dumbed down dummy. You are awakened now, okay? And they know it, you know, they feel some type of way about it. And this is the reason why these people are doing this to you. Yeah, you're someone, you're a main female here. Okay, you have some type of spiritual gift, some type of talent, skill, or ability you have. You have a gift here, okay? And this gift could bring you great fortune here, okay? And these people have stopped at nothing to keep you stuck, restricted, unable to move, or to try to imprison you, or to try to kill you because of the work you do, because of because of a gift that you have. Okay, because of your potential for acquiring great fortune. Yeah. And see, they're sitting in concern about this. Okay. So they target you. So they attack you. So they work against you. Okay. Spirit, please give us clear messages pertaining to um, people trying to play God in your life. People trying to play God in your life. Yeah. See, these individuals could be scholars here. Uh, very uh, highly educated people. In power, degree having people. Very prominent figures of, of, of society. Okay, high ranking individuals, very wealthy individuals. Okay, here you are, this nobody from nowhere. Okay, um, 
this uh, 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 who have this gift, who have this talent, this skill, this ability, this knowledge, or whatever, with 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 none of their credentials, with none of their formal training, with none of anything that they claim you're supposed to have in order to be able to have these gifts or have this occupation or have this power here and you know people are feeling some type of way about this here okay yeah you could be receiving some type of um, a letter some type of information or communication coming to you by letter here by mail here from someone Pertaining to your occupation, pertaining to the work that you do. Yeah. These people wanted you sad, wanted you in sorrow here, okay? Because they want to kill you with the coffin card here, okay? They want to, they want to harm you or even a child or something that you have near and dear to you, okay? Yeah, these people are showing up as the enemy. So we're clarify. Give me further clarifying. Clarify imprisonment. For people trying to play God in your life. Yeah, we have soldiers here. So these individuals, they could be in the military. Okay? They could be in government, in power, in some type of way here. Clarify official person. Clarify official person, Spirit. We have the enemy card here, okay? So these people are your enemies. They're self, you're, you're, they're self proclaimed enemies here, okay? I'm going to do this like this. So you're clarified gift. Why is gift here? Yeah. See, they want you in despair. They want you, they, this is crazy. This is crazy. They want you dead. They want you sorrowful or, you know, in sorrow. They want you in despair. They want you suicidal. They really wanted to push you over the edge. And look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Money. Okay. They're, they don't want you to have some type of money that is rightfully yours. Okay. Yeah. Fortune. This is crazy. These people are attacking you for money, about money. Okay? They have stopped at nothing to try to kill you. They have stopped at nothing to cause you sorrow, sadness, pain, misery. These individuals with this soldier card here, this is equivalent with this official persons here, coupled with this enemy here. People in power, people in authority, whether they're uh, militarized individuals or not, FBI, CIA, government officials, politicians, elite individuals, high up even beyond them. Okay, these people wanted you in despair, wanted you suicidal. They wanted to push you over the edge to, to where you would kill yourself here, okay? They don't want you to have the whatever gift you have. They didn't want some gift coming to you, okay? Some great fortune coming to you. This is crazy. Yeah, here you are, a mother. You could be a mother. You could be, I feel like you're a single mother here, especially with it sitting here with all um, alone in the world, okay? Coupled with occupation here. Yeah. But no matter what, okay? You took a leap of faith anyway, okay? Even though these people were trying to kill you. Even though these people were trying to uh, set you up, to shut you up, okay? Even though these people caused conflicts, okay? In your life, you know, cause to set up situations for you to be defeated in some type of way. Yeah, they wanted to cause a tower in your life, a sudden upheaval, a sudden shakeup. Okay. Cause some type of major tower in your life just because they don't want you to have this great fortune here. The chariot here. These people are trying to play God in your life. Look at this. The empress. 
You took a leap of faith. And your occupation with your work with whatever type of talent skill or ability you have and these people have stopped at nothing to cause um conflict in your life they've been in competition with you okay a number of people have teamed up to work against you to try to sh uh, set you up in some type of way okay to cause uh uh, uh, uh towers in your life here okay To cause you to be arrested here, okay? They even try to make you, um, force you into recovery or some shit like that because you speak truth and clarity about the fact that they're cold-blooded murderers, about the fact that people are trying to set you up to kill you, about the fact that you speak out about people targeting you, about the fact that you know your entire family is working against you. About the fact that people are attacking you and your child. Look at this empress here. You are sitting here alone in this world with your child doing the best you can. While people are trying to fucking kill you. People are trying to imprison you for no reason at all. A, a crooked officials in power. Who think because they got money, because they got a specific title or fucking role, just because you awaken, just because you speak truth. They want to either set you up to be killed or imprisoned. Whether it be in some type of mental institution or actual prison. They wanted you stuck, restricted, unable to move. They wanted to prevent you from receiving some type of gift that is rightfully yours. I feel like you have a gift, which you and you apply this gift in whatever occupation you have, whatever job you have here. Okay, but whatever gift you have or whatever gift that is coming to you, it, 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 it is going to bring about some type of great fortune here. But these people want to do away with you. They have prolonged this for so long. You should have been and got this. These people tried to make you out to be crazy, delusional, mentally ill. When you can pass a psychological evaluation any day, you're somebody who don't do drugs. You're not some scummy drunk. You've worked hard to provide for yourself and your child. You're alone, so clearly you're not codependent. Clearly you're not lazy. You've done everything in your power that you're supposed to do. And these people have done nothing but cause conflict in your life. Because they're jealous of you. Because they're in, uh, 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 envious of you. Because they're intimidated by you. Okay, so they have tried to dig up any and everything that they possibly can to try to set you up on a crime. Put you in a mental institution where they dope you up on medication, have you out of your mind here. If you have a child and this happens to you, take your child away, you never see your child again. They've tried to set this up to prevent you and your child from having this great fortune that is rightfully yours. Put you in prison, whether in a mental institution or a prison in some type of recovery or something, they would just kill you. You got a coffin card and death card here. What kind of cover story they would come up with then? Who knows? But this is official people in power, okay? These ain't no random thugs out on the street. These are the very people that stand before the people claiming they are for the people. Claiming that they are uprighteous and upstanding pillars of the community. Trying to right or wrong somebody else. Always talking about law and order and anti-terrorism. But they're the very ones who create the chaos. And they try to get the order that they want to have out of the chaos that they create. Because they don't want anybody else to succeed or progress or make it or to have any power except for all the power and the wealth that they have stolen. So they want to make you out to be crazy because you know the truth. Because you speak the truth. So something must be wrong with you. You ain't what they want you to be, so you crazy. You won't sell out to them, so you crazy. You won't sell your ass to the devil, sell your soul to the devil, so you are crazy. You ain't a willing slave, a willing puppet, so you crazy. 
Because you're going to be a servant for them. Kiss their ass. Bow down and worship them. You're crazy. Yeah, this is the world that we live in. There's no pursuit to happiness. There's no freedom. They lied to you. There's no liberty, no justice. What is liberty about this? What is justice about this? And whomever is going through this, think back over your life. And every time you have been abandoned or neglected or abused, whether physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, or sexually, have you ever received any justice for any damn thing you have been through? But you got people up here, in official persons, feeling some type of way about you, trying to dissect your life, trying to find a reason to kill you, trying to find a reason to imprison you, trying to find a reason to institutionalize you for no other reason than because you know the truth, because you are awakened, because you speak the truth. So something must be wrong with you. You won't worship the devil, so you crazy. You ain't a part of their prostitution rings, their human child sex trafficking rings. They witch covens and satanic cults, they drug trafficking rings, they, and all the things that they involved in. So something uh, must be wrong with you. No, you ain't involved with their threesome and their orgy parties and shit. You ain't getting sodomized. Sucking dicks that's bit in your ass so something must be wrong with you. You crazy. We got to kill you. We got to get rid of you. We need to imprison you. We got to institutionalize you. We need to shake up something in your life to cause this tower to collapse because you crazy. Something is wrong with you. How dare you not serve us. How dare you not conform, bow down, worship, and obey your oppressors? For don't you know we are your master? But these are the same ones that told you slavery ended long time ago, and you still think you free. But something, you say that, and something must be wrong with you. You know the truth. Cause you and you speak the truth. Cause you are the truth. And the satanic powers that be say, "Uh, uh-uh, we don't like her. Something must be wrong with her. She's mentally ill. She's crazy. They got to kill you. Because they have, they, they have, from what I'm looking at, they have no logical or reasonable explanation into, uh, 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 to imprison you or institutionalize you. So they got to say, this is the reason why coffin and death came out first here. They got to kill you and come up with some ridiculous ass cover story and get their fake, phony, fraudulent ass news to run it. And cover it up like every other staged event that they done put on. But this is what is happening here. These are the individuals who are playing God in your life. They determine who lives and who dies. They determine whether you got a job or not. They determine whether you have money or not. They determine whether you have food or not. They determine whether you have stability or security or not. For don't you know that they own the majority of the land in the world? For don't you know that they own the banks and and, and, and the Federal Reserve and they create the currency and things? For don't you know? This is it. This is it. These are the people that want to play God in your life. It's so sad. Because I feel like these cowboy bastards have even resorted to trying to dig up your past. From your childhood on up on anything that they could try to shame you or blame you or fault you for. Never mind the fact 
that even if one wanted to, to, to try to put something on you, one is innocent into proving guilty. And, and, and most things one would deem as a crime or something wrong has something called a statute of limitations on it according to the fucking law. So legally, they could not get away with this unless they could in, in, in the present time trigger you to commit some type of crime. These people are sick to death. But this is what they do. They've been railroading people, setting up people in the court of law for years. It's all type of people in the penitentiary right now for crimes they didn't commit. So you got set up by the satanic powers that be. It's just so, it's just so, it's just so it has it that a lot more of them back then you know, they didn't hesitate. They do it in secret now. See, they secret bullets now. You understand? See, just back then, they was up front with it. Your face with it back then. And so most people was just killed off. And others was just set up, railroaded in a court of law and locked up. But this is what these sick, twisted... Decrepit ass individuals is doing. These is official people. Now, regardless who have whoever else they have recruited to go along with their shenanigans, is a business. But the mere fact that these individuals are literally looking for any way that they could set you up to shut you up they are looking for that for somebody i don't know what type of work you do for somebody either they were going to try to kill you on your job or while you were working or for somebody, this this uh th this still may occur if it hasn't happened already here. Okay. But for somebody else, so this is definitely you you this empress here okay if you have some type of like i feel like somebody you may have a regular job like nine to five type of job eight to four type job whatever but it's something else that you do okay you see how he's he's like really focusing on this work here it's something else that you do here because we even had the occupation card here it's something else that you do for work okay that you took a leap of faith and doing, producing and putting out there for the world to see. You see how he's outside here and, and, and took this leap of faith. It's something, some type of work, like a talent, a skill, ability, a hobby, a trait, something. That you share with the world. It's still a work, your work, that you share with the world. And it, it, it gains you some type of public recognition. Okay? I can't say that you was really, uh, you know, you received any success, triumph, or victory from it, okay, because I don't think uh, you got any benefit from it in any way, but I feel like somebody did a work that you put out, like for instance, I'm going to give you all an example, okay, years and years ago, okay, I had a series of poems that I wrote. And these poems were channeled messages, okay, y'all. The 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 I when I first originally decided to do it, it was three main poems, okay. Um, Doctor Evil, um, um, American Deception, and uh, one that I called Celebrity. Those were the three poems that I did. Um, first off, and these were channeled messages, okay? I was led by spirit. I, 
you know, and I'm smack dead in the middle of my awakening, y'all, okay? So I always tell y'all, I my awakening began when I was 30, okay? But by the time I got to 33, this is when all hell broke loose. So I'm smack dead in the middle of my awakening. I'm going through all type of things. I'm finding out all type of things throughout my awakening here, okay? And... And, uh, you know, just a lot of things are happening. A lot of things are changing. So during this time, I wrote these poems, y'all. And I was letting it. I kept hearing spirits say, uh, as far as like my spiritual gifts, because and I specifically remembered praying, meditating. And, and and doing certain spiritual rituals, okay, where I call upon my spirit guides for my by talents, my skills, my abilities to be enhanced, okay? And for me to have uh, direct knowledge as to what I was supposed to be doing, okay? And Spirit kept telling me, I, I kept hearing like, do what you know best, go to what you love, what you know best, what you know best. And the only thing that I could think of that I have been doing my entire life, and like y'all, my life has been weird. Everybody else in the world growing up from a kid growing up, like, oh, I want to be such and such when I grow up. You know, you, you know, you wanted to be a firefighter, a nurse, a doctor, or, hairdresser, a barber, you know, a police officer, you know, you, you wanted, you, it, it was something that you were interested in. My entire life, y'all, I kid y'all not, there was nothing, there was nothing, matter of factly, where I was like, I want to be such and such when I grow up. There was never nothing. So it was always that empty space, but I've always had many different talents and abilities that I could do different things, but even the things that I was good at doing, I did it because I was good at doing it, not because it was something like I can I can braid hair, I can do hair, but I don't want to make a profession of it. I don't want to make a career of it. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, like, um, um, I can do nails now and things like that, which I taught myself. A lot of things that I I, I, I know really well, I taught myself because I've never had anybody to teach me. So I put the time in to learn and teach myself and things like that. But it's not something that I wanted to do. The only thing, I and I was a loner, guys, okay? I've never had any friends. I've always been a loner. And I've always been isolated amongst so-called family, okay? So growing up, like, I was quiet. And pretty much like a sad child and quiet. I didn't have any friends, okay? And I was just a loner. So, like, if you seen me smiling, if you seen me laughing, I was watching something on TV or watching a movie or listening to music, okay? I knew I was naturally drawn to artistry, okay? Now, in the 80s, I was tall for my age. I'm not actually tall, um, for my age, because there's like people who's way, way taller than me. Like I'm only five, six and a half. You know what I'm saying? My daughter's going to be, it's like my height now. Okay. And about to be 14. Okay. But, um, and she's going to be, you know, way taller than me. Okay. She's allowed to be like six feet tall. But anyway, um, so, you know, um, for one while I was like, I was interested with, well, I've been writing all my life. The whole point of me saying all of that, I the only thing I kept going back to and I knew is the fact that I love writing. I loved writing so much that back in the day when before the lyrics would come out with music, okay, I would take um like... <laughs> Those of you who are old school know, you remember those Just For Me perms? It used to have a tape in there, okay? And they had the directions on how to use the perm and the little Just For Me song or whatever. I would take that tape, put it in the boom box, and record over it, you know, songs off the radio and different things or whatever. And I would rewind and fast forward and play it back over and over and over again. And I would write down the lyrics to the song. This is how I learned. This is how I taught myself lyrics to songs, word for word for word like that or whatever. So, but I did this just because that just to have something to write because I loved writing so much. Okay. But I wrote, I've been writing like, look, like in my childhood, I have written like, I had all kind of diaries and journals and different things like that. But poems, I had wrote over thousands. 
of poems and things that I was written that, you know, that, but different things I went through in my life, they was destroyed on purpose and all kinds of things because I was writing, you know, about all kinds of stuff, like my life, how I felt, what I was going through and all this other kind of stuff. And certain people would get a hold of this and destroy my work on purpose. But it was also done in an effort to keep me from being able to succeed or progress in any way. So besides that, the only other thing, so like I said, in the 90s, I was kind of tall for my age. So I went to this phase was like I um, wanted to model. But when I realized that they expected models to be like, you know, um, skin and bones, you know what I'm saying? They wanted you to be like zeros and ones, you know, just to, to wear these fashion designer shit and, you know, had to starve yourself and eat cotton balls and all this shit. I'm like, you know, no, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay. Because I'm not just to miss a meal for nobody just to be able to fit in these damn designers, little bitty teeny tiny clothes when they could easily just make, use more material and make bigger clothes for all different size people. So, you know, that kind of went away. So anyway, nevertheless, guys. So during this time, Spirit kept just saying, go back to what you, this is what I heard over and over and over. What do you love? What do you love the most? What have you always done? And, and this is when I figured, okay, so this is what I'm supposed to be doing with writing, which I knew, already knew that I was a scribe. I was a writer in a past lifetime. Like I can trace my lifetimes all the way back to well before Atlantis, throughout Atlantis and before Atlantis and all this. Okay. So, and I know that I was an inventor in a past life. I know that I was a scribe. I was a writer in a past life. Various different things, okay? So, I have a passion for writing in this life. Nevertheless, guys, I wrote these first three poems, okay, y'all? They were channeled messages, okay? And the messages was coming through so fast, guys. I couldn't even write them, you know, fast enough. Now, the first three ones, okay, I did, okay? I did the rough draft. Then I did it over and I memorized them by heart. And so um, when I first, after I did it, um, spirit was like, I heard, um, put them out is what I heard. I'm like, put them out. Now, I'm the type of person, like I told y'all, I grew up a loner. You know what I'm saying? i pretty much kind of shy like I can be as outspoken and blunt and no nonsense you know no nonsense type of person I am I'm pretty much to myself okay and you know kind of shy but not really shy just you know I don't like to be fucked with and I don't fuck with other people you know what I'm saying like when people who have been in my life has inserted themselves in my life type of thing okay so I'm not the type of person to, to purposely insert myself in other people's lives like that or whatever but um so spirit was like, put them out. And I'm like, put them out or whatever. And so I had never put myself out there before. Okay. No matter what I was talented or skilled at, I have never wanted to be that one with that, you know, them lights, them cameras and action all on me, center stage, you know, huge crowd, everybody focus on me type of thing. So when I heard spirit say, put them out, I then went to say Facebook. I started off with Facebook and I was typing the poems in there and I'm like, then I heard <laughs> reading is overrated. Nobody was reading. Take the time to read the poem. So Spirit said I had to do it in spoken word. So I came up with creative ways to do it in spoken word here. Okay. That's what different voices and impersonations and all kinds of things came along with me doing these poems and I would find these nice little sites out in nature to do them um, with the scenery nice or whatever i'm doing these poems in spoken word okay um it sounds good it looks good it's it's coming across intelligently and all this other kind of stuff i put these three poems out here y'all when i did this i put it on facebook i put it on youtube i sent them to college and then spirit kept pushing me put it out send it out and still to this day i feel like I was set up by spirit because y'all, it, it was after then that I start being targeted. Okay. Now I was already remind you smack dead in the middle of awakening. Y'all, I was like during this time, during my awakening was the first time in life I ever seen a shooting star. Um, the night that I seen a shooting star is when I was writing 
my other poems because after I put, let me go back. After I put the first three out, y'all, okay? So, I, like I said, I put it on Facebook. I put it on YouTube, okay? I send them to colleges, college arts departments. Um, I sent them to, uh, like, college, uh, you know, their writing departments, you know, and things like that. I sent them to churches. I sent them to the radio station. Um, I sent it. I th There was one in particular, okay? the the uh what was it i believe it was the american deception i wanted to send it to a specific celebrity because you know this was like a free work and all of this was free okay i'm like this is somebody that i listened to growing up you know what i'm saying and when i was into listening to rap and stuff then it was like one of the favorite rappers like you know that and this still this person was down to earth seemed like one of the only rappers that's still down to earth still come to the south still you know on a level with the people where you know actually communicate with regular people not acting all stuck up and bougie because they got money you know different things or whatever so they have a song okay um and so I wrote American Deception almost as a part two to that song. I specifically sent it to Atlanta. I looked up um, where possibly. So I the, the I sent it to certain studios or or um, uh, whatever it's called. It's a studio, okay. Um, in an effort to try to get this to, I knew this person lived in Atlanta and I, you know, I knew, you know, celebrities down there intermingling, surely, you know, they could get this to this person or whatever. Me, kind of naive, I'm thinking, okay, this person to get this, they'll take it, flip it, make it work for them. They already in the industry. I ain't asking you for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Make it work for you. Make some money off this shit. I'm giving you a free blessing. But obviously celebrities are not, uh, um, <laughs> you know, used to free blessings or used to people giving them something for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because before I knew it, y'all, celebrities that I wasn't even talking to. Wasn't even sending my shit to, had access to my shit, okay? And I started to get hella hate and hella shade from everybody. All of a sudden, people was throwing slick shots and wisecracks at me, making songs about me, doing shit. On I realized then I was a target. The day I remember, like it was yesterday, y'all. The day that I realized that they could hear me and they was watching me in the privacy of my own home, y'all, I kid you not. I was waiting Every evening, my daughter, you know, would get out of school at a certain time. She would get home around a certain time. So around a certain time, I'm waiting for her. What just so happened during that time, um, that show, um, um, what is that show called with, um, what's his name on there? I used to watch the show every evening while waiting for my daughter um, to come on. Okay, guys. And so... Whatever the game is. What is his name? I solidly see his face. But anyway, that was the day, guys, that I realized that these people were targeting me. And they were watching me and could hear me and everything. And I was so tripped out about this, okay? Um, shit just got crazy, y'all. Because I end up sending this to churches and everything, to radio stations. and Well, one radio station in particular, okay? But I made a mistake by sending it to the churches and to the persons that I was trying to send it to at the radio station because I mistook these people for being actual true Christians, um, true individuals of the cloth and of the faith. I had no idea, even though smack that in my awakening, I was not aware of how much lies and deceptions was within the church and how these people were in secret societies and sellouts to these satanic powers that be too at the time. So I mistakenly sent my shit to them. So now I got industry people working against me. I got government people working against me. I got family working against me. I got the churches working against me. I got everybody that I've ever known or come into contact with working the fuck against me. I'm smack dead in the middle of awakening. Now I realize I'm a fucking target. All kinds of weird shit is happening. Okay. One by one by one, I'm able to knock people off. Okay. You involved. Okay. You involved. Okay. You involved. You know what I'm saying? And so it was crazy guys. Okay. So I said all that to say, whomever you are, you do some type of work. 
you took a leap of faith and put some type of work out, okay? And it got some type of public recognition here, okay? But because of this work and this public recognition for your work, it has caused some type of conflict here, okay? And ever since these official persons has been trying to cause or have been causing tower moments to happen into you, in your life here, okay? These people uh, have done things to tamper with your vehicle, your transportation, to do things to make you lose money to make you lose work they have done things to try to set you up to shut you up they've put out you know hits on you to have you killed they've tried to come up with ways to lie on you to have you imprisoned or institutionalized they have stopped at nothing to work against you here okay but i feel like there is somebody something either from the work that you do from the gift that you have some type of great fortune is coming in for you or either Somebody uh, may have passed away here, okay, and left you some type of, uh, you know, you was you you was like the beneficiary on this person's insurance policy, or if they left a will or something, that some type of money was supposed to have been coming to you, and these people tried their tried to block this from you, tried to prolong this from coming to you to prevent you from succeeding or progressing in some type of way here there was something there's something with money and a lot of it here because you got money here you got great fortune here you got fortune here okay and it's sitting right next to give here okay these people stopped at nothing they tried to push you over the edge cause you to be in despair here okay they wanted to you to commit suicide just give up commit suicide here okay they even planned several Several different attempts on your life to try to kill you here they even had people lying on you so you would get a charge with a crime and be arrested here okay um and these official persons have sat back behind the scenes watching all of this doing all of this to you as well as allowing the other people who have been working against you here yeah this conflict here that they've caused here they're trying to sacrifice you here with this nine of wands here Okay, this is defensive energy. This is one needing to protect themselves here. Okay, one others being very defensive against you here. People want to sacrifice you, take your life here because of the work that you do here. Okay, but anyway, like I was saying, guys, um, you, um, you done some type of work. Okay, just like how I did and I became a target, guys. Okay. And it has been eight years now. It has been eight long years that, I mean, because like I said, my awakening began when I was 30, but I actually, but I really, the reason why I say the whole eight years, because I feel like that they were like profiling me and watching me even before they turned on, turned up the frequencies and with their remote neuro monitoring and shit and, you know, their other militarized as a weapons that they use to target people uh, in conjunction with the black magic and the voodoo and the casting curses and spells on me and my daughter and shit that they were doing. OK, with the witch practitioners that was hired to 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 work against me and shit, too, because I mean, they even had witches in the industry. Okay, high ranking witches in the industry doing uh, witchcraft against me. Okay, they had witch practitioners um, in all type of areas working against me, just like they got these um, these shicey as other readers and, and shit online. They be calling themselves throwing slick shots at me. Them bitches are literally getting paid to do that shit, to say little wisecracks, to, 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 to work against me. They watch my every move. So if I watch anybody else's channel, they literally hit up this person and say, hey, you know, and pay them, you know, to say little slick shit, to try to trigger me in some type of way, to target me, you know, through it's it, you know it's bullying it's cyber fucking bullying is what they do and these very bitches be the ones that act like they so spiritual and they so a fucking awaken and calling on god and all kinds of shit name been don't been more believe in god than the men on the moon because they're fucking sellouts okay they get paid they do anything for money they just like little whores that do any damn thing for money Okay, they ain't gonna tell the truth about it, but that's exactly what the fuck is going on. And I know they think I'm ignorant, and I'm dumb, and I have no idea, and he, 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 they getting one over. But girl, I see all and I know all, okay? All that shit. I just don't speak out about everything that I fucking know. But it's clearly going on. This shit has been going on for the last eight years, guys. I'm 38 years old now, okay? 
And even though it wasn't until I was 33 that I realized that, um, this was going on, okay? So after I sent out those first three poems, okay, Spirit told me to keep going, y'all. Now, remember, I told you on the first three, I took my time, okay? To the point where I was able to memorize them, okay? Without even looking at them, okay? Ran them down so good, okay? Well, there ended up being another three there technically was another four that I wrote, okay? But by the time I got to the fourth one, the fourth one was called Transformation. And it was going to be a major exposure about something that most people is not aware of. Some are, but most people are not. And this was going to blow a lot of people's mind, especially brainwashed as men here. And, um... I specifically heard, I, I, I heard, um, if we let her get this out, it's going to ruin her, okay? And, or, or ruin, or something, okay? <clears throat> because I decided to write this, that one transformation, which I didn't put out. I decided not to put out out of respect for um, those of them who... Um, which, you know, I didn't call out anybody's name. Like, I don't I don't work like that, okay? But I use certain things when I'm writing where if you have common sense, you can figure out what I'm talking about, maybe who I'm talking about, or whatever, whatever. But to, to directly call out somebody, you know, it, that's unnecessary, okay? What's understood don't necessarily have to be discussed, but it doesn't necessarily mean I can't say nothing either. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, but, and I, I decided to write it because y'all, this hit me so fucking hard. And it was the night that I seen the shoot and star. Okay. I was doing a specific impersonation on one of my, um, poems that I entitled, that was entitled free world. Okay. Um. And, and I did a specific impersonation at the beginning of that poem of a specific artist, okay? Um, and people, it, it y'all, it blew up. People went the hell mad. I'm like, Lord forbid if I had to did the whole damn song. You know what I'm saying? It was just the brief part, talking part, impersonation part of this person. And people just like, you know, it was like, Wow, you know, people just like literally went off the chain. Like, I literally think this person, you know, called this person over cross seas where they live and to even tell them, hey, you know, this person did an impersonation of you in this poem like this. And it's like, it wasn't shade or anything. Like, I studied this person, okay, to get them down pat, okay, to get this specifically right. And as far as this person's work, as far as, you know, what they did, you know what I'm saying? I like their music and different things like that. But it was while I was studying this person that something in particular hit me all of a sudden. And I'll never forget, it was smack dead in the middle of the night. I, I, I'm, I'm listening to the music. I'm rehearsing the, uh, the, 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 the poem or rehearsing, um, you know, the impersonation and things that I'm going to put in the poem and different things like that or whatever. And it was the same night that I seen this fucking shooting star, y'all. And I, I, I broke down. I'm like, oh my God. And I ran through the house crying. I'm talking about just tears. But it wasn't like, uh, oh my God, like disgust, mad or anything. It was just that, it was that shock value of finding something out that was so obvious that you never fucking knew and you smacked that in this awakening and you know and then you know it's a million thoughts that go through your head because it's like who else know you know what i'm saying and like <laughs> it was crazy and then you start realizing oh my god there is so much more <laughs> so you know anyway guys okay so Everybody made a big deal out of it. After this, I, I so I ended up only putting out three more poems, okay, leaving off transformation. But actually, the person that I was studying that I did the impersonation on was in the poem that I put out called Free World, okay? Um, 
But anyway, so I put out another series of these three poems and Spirit steady pushing me. Put them out, send them out. And, and, and then Spirit told me to send them out a specific way, okay? Spirit told me specifically, I heard, I'm like, Spirit said your emails can be dismissed without reading. You know what I'm saying? You know how you can open your email box and just see the title or whatever it is and you may think it's spam or you don't want to open it or there's somebody you don't know so you just trash it without even looking at it. This is what Spirit told me. Okay, and spirits, you know, was like, okay, you don't know all of these people personal addresses or, you know, who you want to send it to. So spirit told me to do it in a specific way. So if, because if I did it this way, the way spirit related to me, if I did it this way, that even if people didn't like it, they would not have had a choice but to look at it before they threw it away. And so spirit led me to fax out these poems y'all to so i i literally i can i find it y'all i keep documentations of everything i have a huge freaking list of everybody's fax number of the people that i fax this to i'm talking about i sent it to publishing companies i sent it to people in the industry i sent it to um uh, studios i sent it to churches i sent it to college arts departments all this Y'all, this shit, I kid you not, got me targeted. I'm still a target to this day. These people hate me with a fucking passion. You would have thought that, you know, I'm trying to, I tried to come in the game, step on toes, and some more shit. It ain't like that. For I have never prayed nor asked for fame and fucking fortune a day before in my life. Is it possible for me to get it? Sure. But have I ever strived after it? Or am I willing to do all the shit that you have to do to have that shit? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? But this is how I was treated. You would have thought that you know I, I showed up in Hollywood and just got to stepping on some of the best people that ever done it toes you know what I'm saying just all disrespectfully I didn't do that you know what I'm saying and and then I look around and I realize I'm being attacked by people that I once looked up to I'm being attacked by people that I once respected I'm being attacked by people that on a, like I don't idolize any anybody but you know on a surface level you might have liked this person's type of work or believed in this person because of their certain position that they had or had respect for this person because of this that and the other when you start getting attacked from every direction it's like really damn like really but it but it throw you a back because on the surface everybody played pretend you know, everybody in this world, you know, you remember the time. I don't know when this was popular, probably millennium. Everybody like, keep it real. Keep it real. Everybody like, keep it real. But when you give somebody real, they can't take it. You know what I'm saying? They can't handle it. I thought you said y'all was real. I thought you said keep it real. And these are the same people that be trying to convince people that they righteous. They pillars of the community. They upstanding. You surely the things that I'm writing about in this poem, y'all don't have a problem with. Seems like to me, y'all will be on board and standing for or against these things as well. Or, you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't have a problem with these things because um I write a lot of truth in the things. I make it creative and different things, but I put I implement a lot of truth into it okay so there's a lot of different things that of uh, worldly things that i spoke about okay that is going on in the world or that went on in government or went on amongst this that and the other and you know what i'm saying and even there was even a little friendly dialogue back and forth with a specific celebrity they act like i was some crazy fucking fan in love or some shit i'm like nigga please like what this was this was friendly creative exchange like what you know what i'm saying like this is how these people treated me though y'all somebody is going through this okay there's something you do from work and these people i feel like like i said i feel like you have a regular job or something or either you did and these people were trying to hurt you harm you ambush you kill you while you were working here and i feel like you may have had to work with your child with you or something or whatever job it was doing you may have been an independent contractor worker for yourself or something but 
these people were trying to hurt you or harm you in some type of way. But I also feel like you got some type of talent, skill, or ability. Something that you 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 have done that is an uh some type of artistry or something. You have put it on Facebook or YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or Snapchat, Twitter, something, whatever y'all use. And it's gotten you some type of success, you know, a recognition or sometimes you may not have gotten any type of success or victory because people love trying to downplay other people and don't want to give people credit for something that they've done, uh, a good work that they have done just because other people, you know, don't want to see other people come up and they want to, and then people who've already made it, they try their damnness to make it hard for any and everybody else is trying to come up and they don't want to, they've been there forever, made more money than a little bit and refused to fuck to get the fuck out the way for the new generation or anybody else is trying to come up and make it in any way it's vigorous okay especially when it comes to the entertainment industry okay especially when it comes to any any industry that deals with government entertainment or anything it is crazy okay these motherfuckers will damn near slit your fucking throat before they let you through the dough you know what i'm saying and, it, and it's so crazy because it's like y'all they forget when they was starting off, when they just needed a leg up, when they needed somebody to take a chance on them, just listen to them, you know, when they didn't have shit, but a fucking demo tape or something, or, you know, was selling they little, they little CDs on the, at the corner store for two, three dollars, five dollars and shit, when they was trying to come up, however they were trying to come, you know, however they got their hustle on before they blew up and they fucking made it, but then they make it, and then they look down upon everybody else and refuse to for to, 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 you know, and want to brutalize people and break people for them to even come through and they won't even open a door for you, allow you to step foot in the door uh, 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 unless they know that you are brainwashed dumb, they can manipulate you uh, and, and control you into signing some bogus ass contract, you know what I'm saying? And be with that old okie doke and that bullshit where they know they can use you, abuse you, make money off of you. Y'all know how the old pyramid Ponzi ass scheme shit go, okay? And so that's how it is in the industry. But here I am. I'm just doing what I love to do. And I put this shit out. And I have gotten so much hatred ever since. Y'all, I kid y'all not. I've been a target ever since. I've got witches that's doing witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo on me every day. These people have cast curses and spells on me. Has curses and spells on my child, y'all. Okay? I'm deprived of sleep every day, guys. Okay? I kid you not. Every single day. I am not going, I don't, I don't, I don't, I have to force myself to go lay down and try to get some rest. And it's like six something in the morning. Okay. I'm back up at like nine something in the morning. Most of the time I'm back up at like nine something in the morning because my daughter has to take her medicine. Most of the time, once I'm up, I'm up. They won't allow me to go back to sleep. If I do doze back off, it's not to noon. And you know what I'm saying? So it's later when I, when I get up or whatever. But most of the time, that don't even happen. I'm up for the whole rest of the day. So I'm literally still have energy in running off of like two hours of sleep every single day. And it has gotten worse and worse and worse and progress. Okay? Getting to bed at nine went to midnight. Okay? From midnight, it went to one, two o'clock in the morning. From 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, it went to like 3, 4 in the morning. From 3, 4 in the morning, now, you know, it's like 5, 6 in the morning now when, when I'm going to bed. And then I got to turn around and be right back up because my, you know, cause to handle things for my daughter and different things or whatever, right back up by 9. Okay, so like, <laughs> and, and they're not just doing this to me. They're doing this to my daughter. And the crazy thing about this is like with, well, I'm not going to get into all of that. They're even depriving my daughter of sleep. Yeah. Even though she has school, even though she has to do her work, this is how bad these witches hate me. Okay. That they would even attack. And these, now mind you, these official people, these are the same one to play pretend like they such child advocates, but they attacking my daughter in all kinds of ways. Straight up. Me too. Okay. So this is what somebody is going through. I said all that to say, you know, just to give y'all an example of how these people work, of the shit that they do, okay? Because I got people who are in um, secret, uh, 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 that's in secret societies and shit. 
I mean, even pastors and shit. You know what I'm saying? These people are supposed to be people of the church. You know, call themselves being godly. Out here like they gangsters. And shit. Trying to set people up to be sacrificed and shit. But you're supposed to be Christian though. You must be a man of the cloth, but you sold out to these satanic powers that be here. See, they wanted to cause you some type of heartache and pain here. Okay? By this tower collapsing here, they wanted to cause you some type of heartache and pain. It's what they wanted to do, guys. But they, and, and so they have, just like what I've been going through, somebody else is a target. Somebody else is going through this. Yeah, and what do we have here? The emperor. Okay? Authority figures. Someone in power. In authority here. Okay? Who is, who, um, who has shown up as the enemy, who is doing all these things to you? Okay? Yeah. Who has placed these burdens on you? Okay? Groups of individuals. It's not even one person. We got the hierophant here at the bottom of the deck. So you could have the church working against you. You got people in government working against you. People in power working against you and things, okay? You could be in a hierophant energy yourself, okay? With you being a spiritualist, with you being a healer, a helper, an angelic being here that has been sent here to awaken others, to heal others and everything, Okay? But I feel like you even have people in the church working against you. People in government working against you here. Okay? And it's crazy. So like I was saying, guys, it's a trip. Because it's almost like I was set up to put my work out. And I'm doing this, you know, um, obviously not aware of what was to come or what was going to happen from me doing so or whatever. Well, those that shit went viral, y'all. I kid y'all not. I had about 75 friends on Facebook and I went to the maximum in less than a week or two. Which on Facebook, you it's like a little over 5,000 or right at 5,000 is the maximum friends you can have on Facebook. Y'all, this happened in less than a week. I'm sorry, back to back to back to back to back to back to back, to back. like every day, all day. I'm like, this was over. It was, it, it got to the point where it was like overwhelming. Okay. My shit went viral. Well, now, and this is when these satanic powers that be, they um start blocking my shit. Okay. Because of course, you know, I'm somebody that they've always wanted to believe I'm a nobody. I'm not talented. I'm not skilled or whatever. Y'all, they even triggered me. They even triggered me to, um, and how they did it was they, and it wasn't like I was afraid. I just didn't want to leave my, they, I didn't want to leave my work behind somebody else have it and make money off of it when I was gone. So what they did was is when, when I realized I was a target and they started threatening me and all kinds of shit, y'all, they, they made me believe that I was going to die soon. So I started making pre preparations for my daughter and everything or whatever, what, you know, what needed to happen, you know, have this, that, and the other care for whoever can find to know this, that, and the other or whatever about what's going on and different things. Um, should I die suddenly? I wasn't afraid. I'm not afraid of death. You know what I'm saying? So what happened was because of this, so I'm like, shit, if these motherfuckers is about to kill me, I was ready to go. Y'all kid you not. I've been waiting on them. I knew for sure. You know, and I know how they love numerology and playing with numbers and shit. You know, astrology and so y'all, I knew for sure they were gonna kill me at 33. I was waiting. I was waiting when I was 36. You understand? I'm 38 right now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we'll see what it do by the time I'm 39 or whatever. You know, they love playing with numbers and shit like that. They wait till the planet and the moons and the stars and all kinds of shit is aligned the way they want it to on a certain day at a certain time and at a certain place with certain signs and numbers and, and street names and all kinds. You know how to, you know, in color codes, and, you know, everybody be in the red to symbolize and blood sacrifice and, you know, all the crisis actors be first on the scene be seen and the media be out there running they fake news ass shit y'all know how the stage events go 
I'm ready for him. Ready, set, go, baby. Ready, set, go. I done told my daughter the truth about everything. She knows she understands what is going on. Like, everything. I'm not playing. Anybody scared of him? You understand what I'm saying? This is the reason why I come on here and I tell y'all the truth like this or whatever. To let y'all know, should anything happen to me and my daughter, the United States government is behind it. From my local government all the way up to the highest in power in government. They're, they know who I am. And they cannot lie. I could actually sue the dog shit at the United States government right now. They think they clever. But I made sure. See, when I sent those letters out to the president, when I sent those letters to the FBI, the CIA, all these people, I know you got them. And I know you know me. And you sat back all these years and you didn't do a fuck thing to for me and my child. Okay, so which lets me further know that y'all are involved. Okay, which means that you have purposely been terrorizing me, taunting me, hunting me, harassing me. You did nothing to stop what was going on. So should anything happen to me and my daughter, that is my proof. And I have, I even have copies of what I sent you and to whoever, everybody that I sent it to. You can't lie and say you don't know me. You can't lie. I sent it to president. I didn't send it to attorneys. I didn't send it to uh, 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 politicians. I didn't send it everywhere. FBI, you know me. Celebrities know me. You can play pretend the fuck if you want to. But this one side op, this one staged event that you ain't going to get away with, baby. And I ain't worried about it. But the people going to know the truth. Okay? Because if I got to die for the greater good, if I got to be that sacrifice, go down in history, make the, 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 the new school history books, okay? I'm not going to die in vain. People going to know the truth, though. And they're going to rise the hell up thereafter because they're going to see what's the real in this world. Because there ain't going to be no more bullshit, fake-ass news. No more staged events. See, that's the point. So that's why a part of this, y'all, I said all that to say that it almost feel like set up in a way because the most high knew I would be obedient, even though it was something I had never done before, never put myself out there before like that, didn't know what reaction I would get back. The most high knew these people was going to attack me like that. Like the most high knew what I didn't know, what I couldn't even see even being awakened at the time. Okay. And, you know, it was appalling. It's been appalling this whole time to me that, and, and this is when, you know, a, a, a even bigger veil was lifted from my eyes. Cause now, you know, now I'm seeing people, people that we respect for no apparent reason at all, just because they are high up in power, just because they got specific degrees or a certain amount of money or in a specific position. To come to find out that they evil and they wicked to the fucking core and they demonic and they are into the shit that they are into. And they have betrayed and sabotaged the people a long time ago. Baby, that was all she wrote then. That was all she wrote then. Okay? And it, 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 it was kind of heartbreaking to me. A lot of people may... What the government is doing to me... What my family is doing to me, what the industry has done to me, don't hurt me as bad as finding out how corrupt and evil and wicked the church is. I was more hurt by what I was awakened to about the church than anything. I ain't never had my family. I done been alone all my life. They always have neglected me and left me out. You can't miss some shit you ain't never had. But I grew up in the church. I, 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 I was, you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand how long? You know, do you know what it feels like to be treated like a fucking abomination for being a lesbian or being gay? Spend your entire life year after year after year feeling disgusting and trying to pray the gate away. And it don't go away. And it took years and years. And who knew? I had no idea that it took me going to an a coming going to an awakening. I broke down, sat in the dark, praying and crying, begging God. This is when I went to the doctor, and my blood pressure was so high, y'all. 
And my doctor said, this is a silent killer. My blood pressure was so high, I was about to die. Y'all didn't even tell anybody. These motherfuckers kill him. This is why I ain't scared of these people trying to kill me now. They plotting, and planning, and scheming all the time. I was about to die. And they didn't even know. And I ain't tell a soul. But I sat in that dark. And I made a pact with God. And asked God. If you just help me, because the only thing I could think about was my daughter and all the all she had was me. I didn't know how she was gonna make it, how she was gonna survive, where she was gonna go. Nobody's been there for her. Nobody know what disability she's got, what medicine she's you, she takes, what's her favorite color, her favorite food, you know, anything. Cause we don't have anybody. All she got was me. So I begged God, I broke down. And this is when I made a pact with God. And I told God, if you just help me. Out this situation, you helped me change my life. I will change everything about my life. That's when I looked in the mirror and I made that conscious decision because I couldn't die then. I didn't care about dying then. I've been miserable all my life. I've been waiting all my life to die, y'all. Kid you not. I'm not suicidal. But I've been I've been through so much. I've been waiting for what we see happen all the time. So, so much, when so much tragedy has happened in your life, you know what I'm saying? It's inevitable. You just know that it's bound to happen one day, which it is anyway. But when you have brought another life into this world, this, this life is your responsibility. And the only thing I knew is my daughter, I'm all my daughter got. You know what I'm saying? And and she already statistic because she got the disabilities and different things. Don't have a father in her life and different things. So the most I helped me. Most I said me in everything um that that was wrong or bad or habit or this, that, and the other from being a lesbian. To, to partying or kicking it to this or that. Well, I cut off cold turkey, even sex. 10 years, celibate. Okay? Even sex. I look myself in the mirror. I'm like, you had all this sex. For what? Ain't got you nothing. I ain't got a benefit for nothing. Never been married. And every person I've never been with, they never fucking loved me, stood me in the face, told me that they loved me, expected me to perform wifely duties, but I ain't never been a wife. When they was an op from the jump. This is the type of shit I done been through, y'all. So, when I, I got to that point, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm holding up my end of the bar with the most high. And this is the reason why I'm not a lesbian anymore. And they, they started attacking me about that. Y'all don't even understand. The, LB, the LGBTQ community is such fucking hypocrites. It's ridiculous. They forget all the fucking letters that's in their damn community. Okay? The B standing for bisexual, one of them. Not to mention all the other fucking letters in their meanings, okay? But if you go from being a lesbian to not being a lesbian no more, these motherfuckers will attack you personally. Like you done did something to them personally. They literally have been targeting me, attacking me just for not being gay anymore. When no female that I have ever been with loved me, treated me right, or any damn thing. But remind you, these are the same damn people in the church. They said it was abomination. They said it was a sin. You're going to die and go to hell. That was until you awakened and you found out that pimp and pastor. Is a sellout. Is in secret society. Smell like got booty on his breath. Cause he 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 popping boys in the ass. His first lady is really a lady boy. That he sneaking creeping see outside the church. That he in secret societies and all kind of into all kind of sneaking freaking creeping ass thing. You understand what I'm saying? Fake phony ass Christian. Been right and wrong you all your damn life about what's right, what's wrong, what's this, what's thing, what's sin, what's how you should be living and shit. And you a whole sellout out here. 
Even the people in the industry, even the people in power that stand before the people and try to play pretend like they're so upright, so upstairs, they commit crimes every damn day. They living in sin every damn day. And these are the people that stand before us and want to right or wrong us and dissect us about our damn life. We have to be so perfect and bow down and worship them. These are the very individuals that want to play God in our life. See, y'all, y'all don't even understand. I told you one of these days, I'm going to tell you my testimony. Y'all don't understand what I've really been through. And I don't harp about this shit. I just deal with what I got to fucking deal with and go on because it don't fucking matter. You understand what I'm saying? Because right? I done came a long fucking way. I, 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 I was supposed to be dead a long time ago, y'all. They've been trying to kill me all my life. Ain't quite been able to do it just yet. Okay. They vigorously got these bitch witches around here doing their black magic and their voodoo, just like whoever it is that's dealing with this, okay? They using all type of manipulation, okay? They using all type of manipulation to try to hurt you, harm you in one way or another because somebody is highly intimidated by you. That somebody is highly intimidated by you. This is the reason why they're working against you the way you are. This is the reason why I, I, I just told y'all everything that I've experienced, okay? Because obviously somebody else is experiencing these things, okay? Maybe not in the exact same way, maybe in a different way. But somebody else is experiencing these things, feeling like you need to protect yourself because people want to sacrifice you, okay? Because people are causing conflicts and competitions in your life, okay? Because something you do for work, okay? Because of a talent, a skill, or ability, or a gift that you have here, okay? Yeah. Yeah. See? This is the reason why they wanted to get rid of you. Because they didn't want you to have this money. They didn't want you to have this, this ten of coins here, this wealth to come into you. This is the reason why they called you burdens. Caused you burdens here. This is the reason why they lie. They stole from you. And they've been sneaking and creeping around for the longest trying to get away with this, okay? And they wanted you stuck, restricted, unable to move. They even wanted to lock you up. Put you away in some type of way. So you wouldn't be seen. So you wouldn't be heard. So they could successfully get away with what they have done to you. In order to steal your wealth from you. In order to, to block you from succeeding. So anyway, like I was trying to tell y'all. They made me, when I realized I was a target, they made me believe that I was going to die right away. So they triggered me to destroy my work. Okay, so that's the reason why you, uh, like some people, people that has, that has been subscribers on my channel for a while, you've seen the gap. Okay, so because all those poems, I deleted from YouTube. Now, they claim now it's still in cyberspace somewhere. I know it's people in the industry, people in government that still has my work to this day. Okay, because there's nothing you do online that totally disappear even if you delete it. They still got my shit. I know they do. But they triggered me to delete it off of Facebook, to delete it off of YouTube. So I did it. Okay. And and um and then every copy that I had, y'all. Now remind you, they made me, they triggered me to make me believe that they was coming for me and they was gonna kill me on site right away. So I'm ready. So I'm like, I'm not going to leave all my work behind for these bitches to come and get. Because you didn't see the industry, you know, people in the industry um, and, 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 and people in government do this too many times. Like how many scientists that we know who is dead right now that the government knocked them off, but the government end up using their work, still in their work and using it for themselves. Okay. But that's the government. So I'm like, bullshit. Y'all, I literally cleaned house. Everything that I have ever written, even things that I hadn't even put out yet, I threw it away. I cleaned house. All type of artistic type of stuff, pictures, and, and everything. Cleaned house and threw it away. Gone forever. But, I mean, you know, this has been years and years ago. So I got a whole, like I've been writing all my life, y'all. This is what I do. So I have a whole crap load full of more things that I've written now. I've written whole short stories and books, okay? 
with the story times that I've been doing, just to show you how much I write. I've written other poems and things. It's what I do. They know it. They can't stand it. Okay. These people have tried to lie. They have lied on you. They have stolen from you. They try to sneak and creep and get away with their lies, their deceptions, their manipulation, and their control over you. They have tried to keep you stuck, restricted, unable to move here. Okay? Yeah. Because you a star. This is the reason why they did this to you. Because you a star. Because you were shining bright. This is the reason why they wanted you juggling here. They wanted you juggling here. People who chained to the devil here. Okay? Who shepherds for the devil. Who do work for the devil. They devil worshipers here. People that want you worried. Want you. Uh, that left you hanging. Abandoned. Okay. I want you worried. Not financially stable. Or secure. In any type of way guys. These people are sick. These people are really sick. Okay. This video has gone long, longer than I expected, guys. But this is what is going on. These are the individuals who are trying to play God in your life. Yeah. These are the individuals who are trying to play God in your life, okay? Spirit say that these individuals are a part of some type of satanic cult, okay? These people even try to human sex traffic you here, Okay? I told you, these people have hired a hitman to kill you, okay? They've had crisis actors around you. Spirit is saying that the higher-ups is pulling the strings of all the puppets that's working against you here. Spirit is saying that these individuals are devil worshipers. These are the individuals that, that, that uh, um, are working against you, okay? That's playing God in your life here. Yeah, these people are soulless beings, Spirit is saying. Spirits say that these people are under contract here, okay? These people we have murder was the case here, okay? These people are trying to kill you, okay? Yeah. They want you, they want you afraid of them, okay? For some reason, white people in power want, especially black people, especially brown skinned people, white people in power want us to be afraid of them. For some reason, uh, 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 white people in power want black people to be, uh, well, white people in power are intimidated by brown skin or black people. Okay. And, and, and they do things purposely to us to make, to, to, because they want us afraid of them. But fuck that. I'm not going to be afraid of you. Yeah. These, these people wanted to do these things to you and they've covered up. They've covered their tracks and everything. They've covered their, uh, there was a cover up and tr uh, targeting you, hacking you, tracking you, stalking you, harassing you, sabotaging your work, sabotaging your money, sabotaging your career, everything. Okay. Yeah. These people are liars, cheaters, and thieves here. There was people in, involved um, with stealing your abundance in some type of way. Okay, they even they even blacklisted you and 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 um even prevented you from getting employment and different things. Spirits say your entire family is in on the setup. Okay, if you haven't already cut them sons of bitches off, they know the family of yours. Okay, yeah, they're saying don't think it's a game when it's really not. Okay, these people, these people, um are really trying to take you out okay yeah we got lizard people here so shape-shifting as people in power you know they they think because they fucking shape-shifters they monstrous ass individuals that that's supposed to scare you too like fuck that they're still not gonna come out of hiding they're not gonna do anything but send their you know their foot soldiers that they pay to do their damn dirty work or whatever, but you got toxic family members here, okay? You got a karmic mother and a karmic father working against you here. And these people are so fucked up and twisted in the head. Spirit is saying is that these people, um, 
if you are a target, they have did things to try to like right or wrong you, make it seem like you were wrong for things in your life. But these people are committing crimes every single day. It's like they don't see their own fucking faults, okay? Their own evil, wicked, low down, dirty doings don't matter, but they want to try to um, you know, dissect your life, okay? Make it seem like, oh, you such an awful person, you know, in some type of way. That's just the excuse for them to fucking attack you, but nothing justifies trying to play God in somebody's life. Nothing justifies uh, trying to kill somebody. Nothing justifies trying to human traffic somebody. Nothing justifies falsely trying to imprison somebody. That's fucking lunatic. You're they're lunatics. They're crazy here. We've got police involvement here. Even the police are involved. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Spirit is saying that these individuals are traitors. They're traitors. These individuals, especially your sorry as family, they'll do anything for money. Yeah. They tried to initiate you, but when they couldn't initiate you, that's when they decided that they were just going to try to kill you. Okay? They want to make it breaking news. Okay? They want to try to hospitalize you in some type of way here. Okay? If I was you, don't allow nobody in your house. Okay? Don't be going around nobody else. Okay? Don't be in dealings with nobody. This is not the time to be in no relationships with nobody. I know how lonely and pathetic that is. How sad that is. Okay? But you need to understand that these people are hacking you, tracking you. And they're trying to whack you here. Okay? These um, individuals are envious of you. Okay? You got shicey ass sisters that think they fucking better than you. They smarter than you. They prettier than you. These motherfuckers think they so much better than you in some type of way. And they tamed up working the fuck against you. Because they're fucking sellouts. Okay. Yeah. Spirit is saying that these are ops. These are all the people who playing God in your life. Stalkers, informants, this low down and dirty, sellout, savages, con artists. Okay. Decepticons, agents here. Okay. You even got a girlfriend. Okay. They tried to set you up. Okay. Yeah. These people are jealous of you. We got jealousy here. These people are jealous of you. Yeah, there's some type of sibling rivalry, rivalry going on here. Sibling, sibling rivalry, okay? Yeah, they can no longer control you, so they want to try to take you out. They can't control you anymore. They can't make money off of you anymore. So, they, you know, they want to do away with you, okay? This is exactly why Spirit is saying that you can't trust nobody, okay? There was human experimentation done on you, okay? There are lying-ass politicians that's involved with this, okay? They're, uh, the CIA, the FBI, the uh, government is involved in this, okay? Yeah, these people were gang stalking you. I told you, you were a target. You were a target, okay? That's why you alone. That's why you alone in this world. You got nobody, okay? They had everybody to isolate you. If y'all got a boyfriend, <clears throat> I just seen boyfriend too, okay? Your boyfriend is a part of this as well, okay? Or your girlfriend, You can't trust anybody, okay? Nobody. Don't allow nobody in your house. Don't be going over nobody else's house, okay? Try to refrain from doing anything late at night, <clears throat> okay? But we got the sellouts are all around you, okay? So they, 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 they implant these people everywhere. They're your neighbors, your coworkers, your, your fake phony family, your fake phony lovers, strangers, you know, partners, fake phony friends, everything, okay? Yeah. Spirit say these ops are taking bribes here, okay? Don't be involved in no one night stands. I understand how hard it can be to be alone and by yourself and different things like that or whatever. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do, okay? Especially when people trying to take your life, okay? Because these ops out here taking bribes and they doing anything for money here, okay? They willing to do anything for money here. We got this hired hitman here, okay? 
you and you don't need to eat anything after anybody, drink anything after anybody, because these people are trying to get you sick. Okay, you don't need to be having sex with anybody because they could send you somebody that infect you with some type of disease or some shit. Okay, or um. Uh, give you some type of illness or poison you or drug you in some type of way or something, okay? You need to be very careful, okay? Because you can't put nothing past these people, okay? And if you have children, um, these people could be trying to kill you and human sex traffic your child um, or kill you and your child, Okay, so you need to be very careful. Yeah, we got here the enemy, big black, big mad here. Spirit say that the plot thickens here. Okay, yeah, these people smile in your face. All the while they want to take your place. Okay, racism is still real, people. Y'all better wake up and realize what's really happening. Realize what's really going on. Okay, you can believe this fake, phony, fraudulent crap if you want to, but you know it is what it is. We got messy sisters here, blackmail. Okay, we got witch doctor here. Okay, corrupt co uh, cops here. Spirit is saying that these are controlling narcissists here. Okay, controlling narcissists. They're narcissistic as individuals, but something about their setup is going to go wrong. All this betrayal, okay, it's for the love of money. That's why all that money was coming out for the love of money. These people don't want no some type of money to come to you. Okay, you need to be very careful, very aware. Okay, um, do different things um, to like intake herbs and things good for you and things like that they could uh, try to do something especially if you have been chipped or something like that or whatever but they're doing um black magic and voodoo doing death spells and death rituals on you even using illegal forms of technology here they're going they're trying to cause you a heart attack okay with this heartache and pain here they could try to cause you an, a heart attack okay Make sure you, you, um, don't, don't be afraid. Ain't no sense in you being afraid. Okay. But, um, you need to, to, to make sure, um, that you set things up for your child or your children. Okay. Okay. Put something somewhere, some type of post, make sure they know how to, uh, say call 911 or whatever, because you are alone in this world here. Okay. You don't have nobody, but the Empress card did come out here. So you are clearly a mother. So somebody, you, you at least have one child. Okay. Um, if they're not infants or whatever, you need to make sure that you have somewhere where this child can um, see that they know how to call 911 or call for help should something happen to you, okay? Um, so, so help for them. You understand? Like me personally, I, you know, it is what it is. When it's time, my time to go is my time to go. You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't, I don't want to go to them people's hospital or nothing, any type of way. Because if they can't kill you, you know, right where you at, when you get to the hospital, they ain't going to do nothing to pay off the nurse and the doctors to fucking kill you. So, you know, it is what it is. I don't trust them at all. This is the reason why I can't go and get the dental work done that I need done here because um, um, it will be a surgical procedure and I'll have to be put to sleep for it. Them motherfuckers will just kill me on the table with that anesthesia while I'm asleep. But I don't even have a babysitter or anything like that. So watch out for my child while I get no work done like that or whatever. So like, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> I don't even care. It don't even matter. It's all good. Okay, it's not like I'm trying to impress nobody anyway, but I don't trust these motherfuckers from dentists to doctors to nurses. I don't care who they are because they are all under the thumbs of the satanic powers that be. And these motherfuckers, these, they create the currency. Okay, they run the banking system. It's nothing for them to pay anybody any amount of money. And depending on the person and who they are, like somebody who is a doctor or something like that, it, it would be nothing to tell that, you know, for them to tell this doctor, hey, we'll pay you um, $100,000. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, um, you know, for you know to kill this person. Why? What? When they go under anesthesia, you know what I'm saying? Or you know anything? You know they slip out the back door. You leave your kid in the waiting room, waiting on you while you getting worked on. However long the fuck that take, okay? They slip out the back door. Have one person traffic your damn child, take your child out while you under fucking anesthesia and shit. You come, you get, uh uh. -uh. Mm -mm. No, I don't trust none of them folks. Okay. 
but make sure you got your affairs in order. I say all that to say to make sure you got your affairs in order. I've already gone to, well, some places is uh, CPS, like Child Protective Services. Here is Department of Human Services, DHS, okay? Um, I've already let them know. I've given them written documentation, okay, that I am a target, that... Um, People are trying to kill me, trying to harm me and or my child. But should something happen to me and not my child, my child is not to go to anybody in my family, either on my mother's side or my father's side, because they are involved. And they have never done anything for her at all in her life. They couldn't tell you what type of medication she take. They couldn't tell you what grade she's in. They couldn't tell you her favorite fucking color, let alone her favorite fucking food. She's never even spent the night with them. My child is not to go to them. And as much as that breaks my heart because that would leave her in the fucking system where she's going to get abused and raped and passed around by the beast fucking system and shit because they are part of that shit, the same fucking thing could happen to her with them motherfuckers because with them being sellouts, they ain't going to do nothing but the same thing that they did to me and that's sell her directly to them motherfuckers. They're going to put her under fucking mind control, okay? Groomer, put her under fucking mind control. Sex kitten programming, all that shit. Mind control, MK Ultra and all that shit, okay? And start using her and abusing her, y'all. Y'all have to understand how hard it is to be a visionary sometime. I can see this shit. I see, I, I, I see inventions and, 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 and creations and, and, and things to come all the fucking time of things that y'all can't even imagine. Things that y'all are not even aware of. I've seen things that is, that exists right now that has not even, <clears throat> somebody don't want me to speak, that has not even been made public that I know exists right now. They're trying to blood sacrifice you. I said all that to say, make sure you got your affairs in order. Make sure you tell your kids the truth, okay? Because your word, your voice, when you gone, you gone. And the only thing you can do is, is wish for the best for your child. Okay? And even when other people get to them and try to lie to them and brainwash them in things, there, there's, there's a glimpse of hope that in the back of their mind, in their subconscious, they will remember your voice and remember something you have said that's going to help them along the way. So don't lie to them. Don't hide shit from them. Tell them the truth, the real truth about the world and how dangerous it is and the predators out here and the people who will hurt you and harm you and destroy you and and and, and break you and break tell them the fucking truth don't sugarcoat shit for your kids because you can go any damn day this world ain't no peaches and cream and ain't no motherfucking lollipops and rainbows and ring around the fucking rosy tell them the truth because I tell mine the truth, okay? And if you are targeting, you going through these things and you have a child, have a plan. Have shit where people can find it. If you die all of a sudden, they need to be able to find something written in your hand with your signature saying, this is what you need to go on. This is left for your child. This is what you want for the best interest of your child and different things. It's not a game, y'all. I'm telling y'all this shit for a reason. People doing black magic on you. Okay? It's not a game. And I'm not telling you for this for you to be afraid, okay? Because there's no point in you being afraid. People die every day. Okay? There's no need in you being afraid when you know right here on earth we see murder, death, harm, and destruction every single day. It's a struggle every single day right here on earth. All kind of chaos and conflict and hatred and evil and wickedness and demonic shit and Satanism. Devilish shit. There's got to be a place better than here. Ain't no sense in you being afraid of death. When you think about all the struggle that you have to face on this earth, all you have to endure on this earth, there is no need in you fearing death. And there's no need in you fearing living either. Because I learned a long time ago, if it's your time to go, it don't matter where you at or what you doing. Your, you can have two feet planted on solid ground. You can be in the comfort of your own home. 
or you could be taking a trip somewhere or, or doing something. Because there's a lot of people who won't go nowhere, who won't do things, who won't fly because you're afraid of heights, who won't travel, this, that, and the other. <clears throat> Get over that. Because if it's not your time to go, you're not going to go on that way, in that way. But if it is your time to go, just know that if that happened, it was destined for you to go in that way. And afraid, it's the, the point of the matter is, is there's no point in walking around being afraid to live life. Do what you got to do. For yourself, for your children, Okay. Fuck everything else. Fuck everybody else who do not have your best interest at heart. Because these people want to play God in your life when they not know gods. They didn't create humanity. They didn't create planet Earth. They didn't create anything that's here naturally on planet Earth. But they running around here thinking they gods and thinking they can play gods. And I don't give a damn about no kind of demons that they done conjure up in them. And no type of extraterrestrials that they done made fucking pecs with. And all this other kind of shit that they done sold out to. And with they shape-shifting reptilian draconian asses. I don't care about this shit. They still not no gods. And ain't no use in you being afraid of them. Because you got every damn right to be here as well as any and everybody else that's here. Okay? But you ain't going to go no goddamn where until it's time for you to go. And when it's time for you to go, you go gracefully. Period. Tell your babies the truth, though. Because many of us, we had to learn the hard way. See, many of us, we got families. The sellout. Your parents, your grandparents, your great grandparents. You can trace this shit all the way back to, to slavery. They sold out for comforts, for bullshit ass incentives, for whatever rights they think they got that they, they really don't have. Because if they really had, you wouldn't have people. These people in power, these official people playing God in your life, doing shit like this, setting people up to be murdered, setting people up to be in prison, setting people up to be institutionalized, sabotaging and ruining people's life just because you feel some type of damn way about them. But you know, it's always been like that. Do as I say, not as I do. Because if you flip it on them and, and people was to go after them the way they go after people and do with, uh, do to them what they have done to other people, it would be a whole fucking problem. And in World War Three, right here on our soil a long fucking time ago. But everybody's scared. Don't live your life in fear. They don't know God. And they don't have no rights over you. They don't own you. I don't give a damn what they have convinced themselves of. They do not own you. Yeah. See, this is one of the main problems here. You can't trust your own family. Okay? There's crooked government, government officials involved. Look at this. Crooked government officials. CIA, FBI government. Lying politicians here. Police involvement here. Like, what the fuck? Corrupt cops. Okay? These individuals are wolves in sheep clothing, y'all. Wolves in sheep's clothing. And they orders come from all the way up. From the elites. From those of them who are on royal status. That's who they serve and protect. That's who they take orders from. Okay. Okay, guys, this reading has gone longer than I wanted it to, but um, I hope this gave somebody the truth and the clarity that you needed pertaining to the situation that you're dealing with here, okay? Because these people are con artists, man, okay? These people are con artists, okay? They don't have your best interest at heart, okay? These people are Satanists, man, Okay? They want to control you so bad. They want you in this sunken place, okay? But you're not. They mad as hell from the day that they realized that you was awakened. Okay? They've been playing with dark magic against you. Okay? 
They've been doing moon magic on you. Okay? This is sad. It's really sad. It's heartbreaking when you think about these things. No matter how, how angry you get about these things that happen, if you just sit back and think about these things, it really saddens your heart. It really breaks your heart. Because it's unbelievable that this is the world that we live in. You know, and then and then you end up thinking like, what's worse? When you when you was asleep, when you was blind. Because from the moment that you awaken, it's a fucking horror story at the truth. This is the reason why people say things like truth is stranger than fiction. Okay? Because this is awful. This is awful. Nobody, nobody could even, nobody could even. Uh, um, wow, here, I see malicious military here. Nobody could even imagine that that this is what the world would, is, is really about. You know what I'm saying? But these are the things that you are not awakened to. You're not aware of. When you brainwash, dumb down, you're under mind control, when you sleep, you know, when you're not waking, awakened, to the real in the world. See, when you when you awaken, when you have a real awaken, at the beginning of my awakening, y'all, before I knew anything else, I knew one thing. One thing came to mind, and then everything else started to fall into place. What I realized first when I awakened was everything, everything, that we as human beings live for on a daily basis. Everything that we want, everything that we desire, everything we think we need or got to have or whatever. It don't matter. Everything we are living for does not matter at the end of the day. Yeah. See, everybody want a girlfriend or a boyfriend that's really attractive. You know, everybody want a boyfriend that's muscular and very handsome and fit and everything. And everybody want that beautiful woman with the, you know, the you know, a nice behind and nice breasts and flat stomach. You know, you want to be very gorgeous and beautiful. You know, that's what people go after. You know, Everybody likes vacationing and having fun and partying and kicking it and hanging out and bar hopping and club hopping and going to the beach and going, you know, traveling, doing things, whatever you consider fun. Okay. Everybody want money. Okay. And we have been trained in this world that we live in. We need money for everything to survive, whether it's for leisure, for play, for bills, just to survive, you need money. That's the main thing that, that they have instilled in the people. You need money. You got to have money. This is the reason why you got so many people who work their fingers to the bone. Working jobs that don't even offer their benefits. Their entire life until they're no longer an able body. People working their fingers to the bone every day right now and still living paycheck to paycheck. Can't even afford insurance. Because every dime they make go just to live off of, just to have a roof over your head, food to eat, utilities. And things. But this is what the world have told us. Everything that we are living for don't matter at the end of the day. Does not matter at the end of the day. Why? Because everything that you strive for, whether it's the biggest, nicest house, the fanciest car, the nicest clothes, shoes, jewelry, as much money as you can obtain. Okay? No matter what it is you are striving after, that you are going after, that you care about the most, that you feel like you just got to have in this lifetime, that you don't want to be without, that you do not want to lose right now. Don't matter. Because when you die, you can't take none of that with you. Guess what? When you die, you know how many people in, in, in debt right now? Just for getting an education. Education should be free. People in debt right now. 
for picking up a trade, for going to school or, 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 or trying to, you know, get a higher education and half of them is not even working jobs in the career field in which they went to college for. And still paying off debt. People have to take out two, three mortgages on their homes. Just even have a home that the government can seize at any damn time. This is the crap that people strive after. But guess what? When you die, none of this shit matters. So everything that you have lived for, that you have strived for, that you have worked for, does not matter when you're gone. But this is all people care about. I mean, it has even got to the point where people are willing to kill other people for money. Willing to set up other people if only they can get some money. If only they can get some fame or some fortune or a certain position, title or role or something. They don't care. It's gotten to the point where nobody gives a damn about anybody else's life. As long as you getting what you want. People killing their own children, their own mothers, their own fathers, their own sisters, brothers, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents for fame and fortune. But what does it matter when you dead and gone? Nothing. That was the first thing that I realized when I awakened. Everything that we are living for don't matter. This is how I was able to just drop everything like a bad habit. I all of a sudden did not care about anything anymore. Because if you think about it, anything that you wish for, you desire right now. If you think about it, if you did not have it, would you still be able to live and breathe? If you did not have a relationship, would you still be able to live and breathe? If you were no longer able to have sex, would you still be able to live and breathe? Okay. Even if you didn't have the biggest home or, or, or home at all, would you still be able to live and breathe? Technically, yes. If you didn't have the fanciest car or transportation at all, would you still be able to live and breathe? Yes. See, people tend to forget how people lived back in the day before all that shit even existed. See, back then they built their own shacks. Back then they didn't have no transportation like that. Back then they was actually thoroughbred. They had, this is where they grow skills and things came from. Nobody cares to live like that anymore in this day and time because they have made everything so readily available to you and accessible to you. It's all too easy to go out and get the things that, that is available to you. But that's not the question. The question is, is without those things, is it possible for you to still live and survive? And the answer is yes. Which means that everything that you are living for, striving for, you want, you desire right now. That you liable to kill another man for to have right now. Technically, you can live without. Because when you die, you can't take it with you. People don't have their priorities straight. People don't quite think about things like that. Doesn't matter. Because see, you living your best life consists of having as much money as you possibly can. Having fame and fortune, being popular. You know, having the finest man with the fattest wallet. Having the, 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 the best body. You got chicks out here doing all kinds of shit to themselves to make themselves perfect. Getting fake behinds and fake breasts and plastic surgeries and crap done to their eyes and their cheekbones and their eyebrows and the hair and the, every part of their body besides being natural. But the fact of the matter is, but that's their own business. No matter how you were able to get the money to go and do that shit. That's their own business. But the question is, could you live, could you survive without that shit? And the answer is yes. So everything that people are striving for, want, desire, you technically, you technically can live without. And technically, all those things that you want and you desire and you lust after are not the true meaning of life. Are not the true purpose of life.
And it is perfectly, you can live perfectly without any of those things. Because everything was provided to you naturally and for free here by the real God. Not these fake, phony ass God. See, the real God is a creator that created all things. These fake gods, they steal, they kill, and they destroy what the creator created. Thus, they ain't no gods. They playing God. You may not like what I got to say. You may not particularly like me. What you can't do is you call me a lie. What you cannot do is call me a lie. And that's the point. Because everything that I just spake is fact. Y'all know it. The powers that be know it. And any and everybody else in between. So I don't really much care about how you feel about me. It's the truth. And you know it. And the majority of you parade around. Claiming you're real. I just told you the real. Can you take it? Thank y'all for listening. Thank you for watching. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you would like to contact me, you can do so at TiffanyZickler60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at shinebrightlikeadiamond with an underscore between each word. If you would like to donate to the channel, um, you are more than welcome to do so. It is greatly appreciated and I do thank you in advance. You can do so um, through Cash App at dollar sign tiffdiamond36 or through PayPal at paypal.me slash at 36 diamond, okay? As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. This is a wicked, wicked world that we live in, guys. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when somebody may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you. Keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God as you all can see <laughs> um, it is 5:59 a.m. about to be six o'clock in the morning guys just another day I have been deprived of sleep okay these witches they want to drain my energy so bad okay and they stop at nothing every single day to to do so guys okay but i kid you not i don't even have to make it up okay there's a lot of fake phony fraudulent people imposters online okay but i don't even have to lie about it okay it's real i even wrote a song about it <laughs> um but anyway guys thanks for listening thanks for watching um Enjoy the rest of your day. It is a new day, like I said. So, I've been working since last night. So, anyway, guys, just another day. Um, as a target to the individual, guys, it is what it is. <laughs>